Dear friends, welcome again to my YouTube channel, Your Technical Engineering Consultancy Tips. Today I will be discussing with you all about types of pavements for highways and airports, which may be flexible, rigid, and composite pavements. Composite pavements are often termed as semi-rigid pavements, also as well. Now, the cross section of flexible pavement. What actually are the flexible pavements? Flexible pavements are those pavements which reflect the deformation of subgrade and the subsequent layers to the surface. Flexible pavements are actually bituminous roads. The load is transferred from one layer to the other layer from grain to grain contact, but these pavements possess very little or no flexural strength. What about this cross section of the flexible pavement? In this, first of all, a subgrade layer of a specified thickness is laid, further followed up by a sub base layer, and then a base course is laid upon that, and then a binder course. But before laying the binder course, a prime coat is put on on the top of the base course then after the binder course has been placed a tack coat is done on the binder course on which further a surface course of desired thickness is laid down further being followed up by a seal coat and the thickness of these subgrade sub base base course binder course and surface course is being decided based on the California bearing ratio test being done on the soil on which <coughs> this this pavement is built up now next rigid pavements rigid pavements are concrete pavements with or without reinforcement and consist of concrete slabs laid over a stabilized base and subgrade the rigid pavements are characterized by rigidity and good flexural strength of the concrete slab in which case the load is distributed over a wide area of subgrade soil through slab action now telling you all about the cross section of rigid pavement what actually is this a granular sub base of desired thickness is laid over well compacted subgrade over and above which a dry lean concrete of, of a specified grade is laid and further over and above this dry lean concrete a pqc which is often termed and uh, known as pavement quality concrete of desired grade at 28 days is further laid upon this which is termed as the slab thickness so what actually is this rigid pavement is okay uh, this rigid pavement may consist or may not consist of reinforcement but as you all can see this there are transfers there are transverse joints there are longitudinal joints and when the reinforcement is being put on this is actually the design process so it, these reinforcements are put on as per the design and these reinforcements consist of dowel bars tie bars why dowel bars are used? Dowel bars are used perpendicular to the transverse joints and tie bars are used to connect the two blocks of this rigid pavement and they are surface finished as per the desired design requisitions. Now, what are the different types of rigid pavements? They, these are this is an actual additional knowledge which is being given in this video of mine types of rigid pavements are joint plane concrete pavements with or without dowel bars jointed reinforced concrete pavements continuously reinforced concrete pavements pre-stressed concrete pavements roller compacted concrete pavements pervious concrete pavements Precast concrete pavements, interlocking tiles and block pavements, which is currently the trend being used at those very particular locations where generally there is a problem of uh, water seeping in and destroying the roads. So, there, these interlocking tiles and block pavements 
are a good solution they are often termed as semi rigid pavements also as well fiber reinforced concrete pavements containing fibrous material which increases its structural integrity these fibers may consist of carbon steel or synthetic polymers of short discrete sizes that are uniformly distributed and randomly oriented oriented in such kind of pavements now what is composite pavements actually the composite pavement lies between that of a flexible and a rigid pavement in this very particular case these pavements are formed when a bituminous overlay is placed over a concrete pavement an important point to note is that the always increasing demand for asphalt is a challenge as it is a by product of crude petroleum therefore the need arises for concrete pavements and various technological innovations has been made and are being made in this very particular field concrete pavements provide longer design life and durability but is associated with problems like high initial cost longer curing time and crack formation which are currently being dealt with different emerging technologies so dear friends this was what i wished to explain you all in this lecture of mine keep on subscribing to my youtube channel geotechnical engineering consultancy tips thank you very much